Hi, Lenny. It's lunchtime. What's for lunch, Lenny? Oh, I see. A cheese sandwich, an apple, and some tomatoes. Mmm, that looks yummy. There are three important steps we need to do before we eat our food. Let's go through them. To the children watching at home, your parents may do this with you now, so you can start learning how to do it yourself one day. The first step we need to take before we eat is to count the carbs of your meal. What does counting carbs mean? Counting the carbs means to look at the food you are going to eat and add up all of the carbs that are in the food. Let's all try and count the carbs in Lenny's lunch. The cheese butter sandwich has 35 grams of carbs. The apple has 15 grams of carbs. And the tomatoes have no carbs. Great! Now let's add them up so we know the total number of carbs in Lenny's lunch. So 35 plus 15 plus 0 equals 50. The total number of carbs for Lenny's lunch is 50 grams. Well done! But why is it important to count the carbs of the food you eat? We need to tell the pump how many carbs you are going to eat so that it knows how much insulin to give you for your meal. We call this a bolus. Remember that you need to bolus whenever you eat carbs, which means giving yourself insulin for the carbs you are going to eat. Insulin helps your body use the carbs from your meal to give you energy. Now that we have counted the carbs, the second step we need to take is tell the pump that it needs to give you a bolus for your lunch. But how do we do this? It's easy. Take your pump and go to the bolus feature. Your parent can help you with this if you're not sure how to do this. The bolus feature of your pump may look slightly different, but it will work in a similar way. First, the bolus feature will look at the glucose level in your body, whether you have put in a blood glucose reading using your glucose meter or the pump takes your glucose reading from your sensor. And then it decides how much insulin to give you for your glucose level. Next, type in the amount of carbs you are going to eat into the bolus feature. We calculated that Lenny's lunch is 50 grams. We type in 50. The pump will calculate the bolus you need for your lunch. When you are ready, press Deliver Bolus. And there you go. Your pump is now delivering your bolus for your food to your body through the tubing. You can tell the pump is delivering the bolus as the blue line moves across the screen. The third and final step we need to remember is that whenever you or your parents give you a bolus for carbs you are going to eat, you should always bolus before you eat, not after or during. In fact, you should bolus 10 to 20 minutes before you eat. We have to bolus 10 to 20 minutes before we eat so that there is enough time for your bolus insulin to work in your body. Now it's time to eat. Thank you, Lenny, for showing us how to count carbs and use the bolus feature of the pump. Enjoy your lunch, Lenny. <laughs>